morning. Uh, my name is Brian Bennett, and I am here from Evansville, Indiana, and I'm going to try and talk really fast. Um, but if I do not have a slide up there, but all of my resources are on bit.ly slash flip pages. And I'll say that again at the end. So if you miss a slide, this is posted there. Okay. So I'm here to try and answer what is a flipped class, and hopefully that will give you some questions that you can talk about when we do the breakout groups in about 7 minutes and 45 seconds. Um, so I want to show you this video real quick. This is um, something I put together last week. Okay, so the flip, flip class. First thing, there is no one way to flip. So when you talk about flipping or when you hear about flipping and people say, oh, it's, it's a method of doing things, that's not true. The flip classroom is an ideology that a teacher has where they were removing themselves from the front of the classroom and putting the kids back in the front of the classroom or in the middle of the classroom or wherever you want you know, the learning to take place. And there's four or five big myths about the foot classroom, and I want to talk about those real quick. And myth number one is it says that the foot class is the same thing as the Khan Academy at home every night. That is not true. That is about as far as you can get from a true foot class. Um, and I don't know if this is totally couth or not, but um, kind of watching the Carp DM class video, I am the opposite end of the spectrum. And uh, so when you saw the video there of the kids working on the whiteboard together, sitting in the group in the middle of the room, catching up on something that they missed, doing a lap. That is a flipped classroom. The class time, the time face-to-face -face with each other and the time face-to-face -face with the teacher is the most important time of the, of the learning, okay? And we all know that. Um, and so, you know, honestly, watching the Carp DM, they had cubicles there, I said, where is the learning happening? So a flipped classroom focuses on getting the content delivery outside of the classroom, usually, and my videos are like eight minutes long, uh, getting it away from the classroom so I can sit down with every single one of my kids every single day and ask them questions and give them a chance to ask me questions. Uh, the second <coughs> myth uh, kind of goes along with that and it says that all videos or all content is best taught through videos. Again, not true. Uh, I have done entire units without using a single video in my classroom because video is not the best way to deliver the content. Uh, there are some times in chemistry when I need to give a lecture or direct instruction, and that's when I will use a video. There are other times, though, where a pogo activity is more important or a discussion is more important, uh, especially English and history classes. Uh, you rarely give direct instruction because it's so much better to sit down and talk as a group. Okay, a flipped classroom, again, does not rely on the videos. Videos are a tool that we can leverage to meet a need for your kids. Uh, and also through this, I don't require kids to watch videos. They're a resource that I post. It's something that helps, I don't know, 40% of my kids, so I post it because they can learn from it. If they don't learn from it, I don't care, um, as long as they're learning, and that's what the important thing is with that. Third, it says that the teacher can relax during class. Again, this is probably the furthest thing from the truth as you can get. I work harder now than I did in a traditional uh, format. Lecturing is easy. I can stand up and talk all day long. I love chemistry, I love biology, I'm a big old dork that way, all right? My kids get bored to death. I don't do that anymore. I am on my feet. I've worn through two pairs of shoes already for the last 18 months. Like I'm talking full through the bottom of the shoe uh, because I'm walking around the classroom so stinking much. Um, and, it, and again, it's the chance to talk to every single kid every single day about what they're doing. And the last thing is that the foot class is being touted as this magic bullet. Uh, Bill Gates has thrown $100 million into Khan Academy. Uh, Khan Academy just got another grant of $5 million to build a school. Uh, and they're, they're kind of saying, this is the way education is going. No. No, no, no. Um, anytime we come up with a magic bullet for education is when we need to stop what we're thinking and look at what it's really saying. Okay? This is a tool. This is something that has worked for my kids in the, in the past and present. It is something that might work for your kids. It might not, though. And I'm not here to convince you to do this. Okay? This is just something that has worked. It's a model that fits the need of a lot of students today. Um, what is the foot class? This is posted on the website. Um, if you read the Daily Riff, that's where this article is. It's the, uh, I believe this is the first in a series of three articles that was written this past summer. Um, and I was part of that writing team. Um, and you can read this yourself. Uh, I'm not going to read it to you, but look at the yellow words. Okay? We're looking at interaction, face-to-face -face interaction with kids. It's an opportunity to do something. Uh, the teacher is learner. Right? Most of the time now, instead of giving a test, they, they make something new and they teach me about it. Um, I don't know everything. I don't pretend to know everything. Uh, you know, just 
because I'm older doesn't mean I know everything there's to know about biology. I'm no longer a disseminator of knowledge. I'm a learner with the kids, and they can choose the path that they want to go. Um, it's a hybrid of direct instruction with constructivist learning, and I know the C word is scary to a lot of people, um, and so I try not to use it too often, but the kids need to be given a chance to create something new, and the flip class gives you time to do that in the room with them so you can help guide that learning. Um, everything I do now is permanently archived. That does not mean I make it and let it sit. And, uh, so I make it once, and a lot of times I'm not happy with it, but it fits the bill for the moment, but I'll go back and I'll revise it, and I'll do it again, and I'll do it again, and I'll do it again. So nothing other than where I put my lecture has changed. Um, and then finally, it's, it's another method to give kids a personalized education. Um, one, one slide I did not get in here because it just came up recently is that there is now this argument saying that the foot class uh, increases the division of socioeconomic status. And uh, I don't know if you're on Twitter, but if you follow Iris Sokol, and I'm not here to call him out or anything, but that's his big bill. Um, and I'm here again to say, no, it does not increase the socioeconomic divide, it actually decreases it. And this next video is um, case in point for that. Okay, so extremely, extremely powerful. I mean, if that can happen in Detroit, you know, and I hate to stereotype, but I mean, just look at the news. You know, Detroit has fallen apart in the last four or five years. Um, this is a tool that can be used to help students. Okay, it's, it's only a tool. Um, and the last point I want to make, uh, a, a good friend of mine, Aaron Sams, and I were talking about blended learning and kind of where the flipped classroom falls into that. And we're not trying to create new labels. We're not trying to you know, take uh, credit for anything. Uh, but we were talking about where does this fit into blended learning. And Aaron said something really profound to me. And he said, you know, blending done bad is when we lecture in class and students interact online in discussion boards or whatever. But blending, blending done well is when we can take the content out and put it on the internet, and then in class, all you do is interact, all you do is talk, all you do is spend time with kids. Uh, and that's what the flip class is. Uh, so again, if you want, I mean, I've got 40 or 50 bookmarks, it's a Deagle list, and it's linked at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, forward slash flip, F-L-I-P, pages, P-A-G-E-S, so double P, flip pages. So, thank you.